for my Steven Universe Winter Forecast Review. And theory, alright? When I first watched this episode, I didn't think it was anything special at all. Until I watched it through this time. And I've got a huge breakthrough I'm ready to take on. The warp tour is already gone. Here's the thing. So in this episode, um, first of the episode review, then my warp tour is gone. Work. Um. All right. So it starts off. Uh, Stephen Connie roast in marshmallows. It's pretty good. Um. And so the a winter storm is coming. Connie has to get home. And then Garnet kisses Stephen on forehead. We progress through the story, um, and then, um, and then they stall, um, uh, they stall Greg with new, um, coats, or new sweaters and stuff for him to put on. This ends up in a bad, um, future where, um, so they go and they get stuck in the snow so they have to walk to Connie's house. Waiting for Connie's parents to be mad and Connie to get sick. Um, so, in the next, then Stephen looks at Greg's uh, coat and time, and pretty much travels back. And it travels back to when they were stuck and they start toast, and they start making marshmallows and stay in the van. Connie's dad starts driving in the snow and going, um, and going to, um, going to the van, um, because they need Connie home. Um, in that, um, future, um, he gets in a car accident, supposedly killing him and the, uh, and out, maybe someone out of, out of the other, I think. But he's probably definitely dead in that future. Um, the next uh, thing that happens is they go back to the car, and then Steven and Connie go, go back, um, back to the Gems house, and so in that future, um, they get, um, the mom objects, and, and so they're going there. However, this is where my theory will come into play. Garnet, Pearl, and Amethyst are, um, are trying to transport, like, the, a gem version of a bomb to the warp, to the warp place. Um, they send it, they, um, fail to send it, and presumably everyone dies in that, in that, um, future, too. Leading, um, to what originally I thought was a cop-out a bit. It was just Garnet's future vision. However, that's genius. I, here's the thing. I do not love this episode, but I do like it. A lot. It's, it's up there in the good in the good episodes, um, for me. But, so here's what'll happen now. Well, for me, I'm about to introduce, talk about two things. First of all, if Steven experienced all the futures he had, I feel awful for Garnet. Because that means Garnet will have experienced all of the futures she sees, too. So futures where her loved ones can die, Garnet would be a victim of it, um, and have to feel that. So, now for my thing, the warp tour is gone. So basically, the warp tour, um, in fu Bad Future number three, they were going to blow up the warp tour. But here's the thing: when the real thing happened, once they left, we didn't see the gems. So. But, so, they probably were still sending it up to the Warp Tour place. Um, which means the Warp Tour place, if they succeeded, is obliterated. Um, so yeah. So, thanks for, thanks for sticking around for that episode review.